in the nominal scale when you have here the numbers merely serve as label dot tags for either identifying objects or for classifying objects. Like if you're classifying objects, let's say we, here we could classify this group here uh, based on gender as males and females. So one could be females or two could be males or uh, vice versa. The reverse would be true as well. And when used only for identification, there is strict one-to-one -one correspondence between the numbers and the objects. Uh, I'm sure everybody here has a PAN number and that PAN number is unique to you. That number can be given, one PAN number can be given, or Aadhaar number, or whatever you have. You have social security numbers in the US. That uh, if you get that number, nobody else can get that number. And that one number can be given to one and one individual. That uniquely identifies you. And these numbers do not reflect the amount of characteristic possessed by the object. That means if we give, let's say, for classification purposes, if we give one to females and two to males, it doesn't mean that the females are, because they are one and males are two, that the females are in any way either superior or inferior to the males. But it doesn't denote any characteristic of either the females or the males. And the only permissible operation on the numbers is counting. We can count the number of females here, we can count the number of males here. And only limited number of statistics based on Frequency counts are permissible. Or it doesn't make sense, although technically, let's say, suppose I had access to your PAN numbers. Nothing mathematically prevents me from adding all the PAN numbers of all the people in the class and dividing by the number of people and making a statement with a broad grin on my face that the average PAN number for the people here is whatever, 20.345. You know, that is a meaningless statement. Are you with me? That has no meaning. Now, for nominal scale purposes, we could say, let's denote McDonald's by 1, 2 by Burger King, 3 KFC, 4 Pizza Hut, and 5 Domino's. So this 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 is a nominal scale. It doesn't tell us anything about any of these restaurants, except or it tells us when I refer to uh, you know, fast food number 3, I'm referring to KFC. That's all it means. Or when I'm referring to... Number five, it's dominoes. It doesn't mean that KFC is in any way superior or inferior or more preferred or less preferred than dominoes because no characteristic of these objects is being measured in a nominal scale. Is everybody with me so far? And then, um, we come to the ordinal scale. <coughs> Let me put the ordinal scale here. It's a ranking scale where the numbers are assigned to objects to indicate the relative extent to which the object possesses some characteristics. And we can determine whether an object has more or less of a characteristic than some other object, but not how much more or how much less. Now, let me say, and I'll go with the first response I get from the audience, which would be the most preferred here? KFC. KFC, okay, let's give KFC a rank one. Second most preferred? Domino's. Pardon me? Domino's. 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 I heard pizza is for some pizza. Number three? Domino's. Number four? McDonald's. Pardon me? McDonald's. Let's say number five is Burger King. Now here, the only convention we have adopted is that the lower the rank, the more preferred the store is. Are you with me? Yes. That's the only convention. And any series of numbers can be assigned that preserves the ordered relationship between <coughs> objects. So that means, what that means is that I don't have to go from one, two, three, four, five. I can give any numbers here, as long as I stick to the convention that the lower the number, the more preferred the store. If somebody just throw out any number out of the blue. Just throw out any number. 68. Pardon me? 60. 60? Let me just go with 60 so there's no confusion here. 
No, somebody give me a number higher than 60. 72. Okay, two people. <laughs> a number higher than 72. 85. 85. A number higher than 85? 99. 99. <laughs> and a number higher than? 110. 110. Okay. Now, these two scales are equivalent scales. They convey exactly the same information. Because the lower the number, the higher they prefer. So we know that one is preferred to two. But whether two is a close second, or two is a poor second, or somewhere in between, we do not know. We do not know. Likewise, we know two is preferred to three. But whether three is close to two or distant in terms of preference, we do not know. Are you with me? Yes. yes. And this scale, which doesn't follow, you know, this from the point of view of the respondents, this makes most sense because they can understand it. But from the point of view of, uh, from a technical viewpoint, this scale is exactly the equivalent to this scale. The rank order correlation between this scale and this scale would be a perfect 1.0. Are you with me? It conveys exactly the same information. And uh, because these scales do not have, they have the characteristic of order. The ordinal scale has the characteristic of order if you go to the basic scale characteristic, but it does not have the characteristic of distance.